kind of thoughts are on your mind uh, as you get ready to head down to Tampa? Uh, I just starting the season off right, um, getting down there a little bit early and uh, starting to work out before uh, spring training starts on the third and uh, March third, and just kind of getting to know some new guys, um, being in the uh, being in the facilities with the big league guys and seeing what they do every day and uh, day in and day out. Um, just kind of trying to get on their um, schedule and their routines. Mm -hmm. uh, so you were drafted last year, third round. Tell me about uh, what it was like to get your first um, pro experience under your belt as far as reporting to Tampa last year and getting some workouts in with the guys. What did you learn? Um, I learned a lot. I mean, uh, the biggest thing was the um, different cultures that you see down there and uh, kind of getting along with um, people that aren't the same as you, um, kind of getting to know some different backgrounds and what um, other kids come from. And, um, learning that there's a lot more out there than the Northeast and New Hampshire and uh, just... How do you think your skills applied to this, this talent level? Here you come from New Hampshire and now you're going against some of the best players in the world that are, that are your age. Um, anything surprise you or, or, or what did you learn about yourself playing against these guys? Um, well, obviously, always the biggest question is uh, what it's going to be like. And um, getting down there and making your first start, you kind of, um, you don't second guess yourself, but you always, there's always in the back of your mind. Um, obviously, you know you can do it, you're there for a reason, but it's what it's going to be like. And um, I think that first start and first uh, couple months of playing in the Dominican and in Tampa and the Instructs, and um, it kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to be like and uh, what your competition's like. Where are some stops that you'd like to, to make along the way this year? Um, along the way this year, I think, uh, I mean, my biggest goal this year is to make it out of the out of rookie ball and hopefully um, go out and have a good spring and see what happens and uh, hopefully Staten Island. Uh, Staten Island out here is a great place to play. I've seen their ballpark a few times and it's an amazing atmosphere. And um, It's one of the highly most highly attended minor league baseball mm -hmm. uh, facilities out there. and. Um, I mean, to play in the New York Penn League, get to come home a little bit, come to Lowell, Massachusetts to play spinners and uh, play some local teams and get back up north and hopefully have some fans. And um, Yeah, like I said, the biggest goal is just make it out of rookie ball, progress, yeah. maybe uh, maybe a full season team by the end of the year. Who knows? Now, uh, tell me about this uh, mysterious character in your farm system. He goes by the name Jay Blanco. Uh, <laughs> he has some uh, New Hampshire roots. He's really become a legend in some in some people's minds, maybe only yeah. his own. No, he's a legend. But he is. Uh, we're talking about Joey Marr from uh, Bedford High and how you guys were able to experience this together last year, drafted in the same draft class. Yeah, we, uh, we experienced it together. We went back down at the same time. Both made it to Tampa at the same time. Um, he got there two days after I did. Um, kind of got to go through the whole thing together. Got to talk about it on the plane, plane rides home and um, got to hang out a little bit. We were roommates uh, for the whole Instructs. Um, we were roommates down in the Dominican Republic. We were... Uh, roommates there in rookie ball and uh, getting to know him and I mean I knew him before I wasn't we weren't um, we didn't talk a lot we didn't really know each other but um, getting to know him is I mean he's a character he um, keeps the clubhouse loose and always joking around and um, knows when to get serious when he needs to um, but he's a good kid and we'll see what happens. Can you imagine and the odds of this are very slim given the way the, the nature of the game works but can you imagine if you Jordan Cody and Joey Maurer were in the Yankees starting rotation five years from now. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, it, uh, obviously two New Hampshire kids. Um, there's, there are Major League Baseball players from New Hampshire, not a whole whole bunch of them, but I mean, um, have two of them in the same rotation. And even in, I mean, even in the minor leagues, you don't see two guys from New Hampshire in the same rotation. And I think it's pretty cool. Um, we get a lot of support back home. And, um, I know his family's big on it, my family's big on it, and hopefully one day we get to make it together. Even if we don't play in the same rotation, hopefully we both make it and hopefully have good careers together.